So in this lesson we're going to have a look at a special type of hydro power plant known as a pump storage power plant. We've already looked at how various types of hydro power plant work and this type is not much different from some of the others we've seen. However it's got quite a unique operating characteristic which I'm going to discuss with you in a moment. So we can see we've got our water inlet and that is on the opposite side of this reservoir wall. Let's spin around so we can actually go down and have a look at the inlet. There is the inlet. We can see we've also got a gate so we can close off the water inlet to the penstock. We've then got our penstock which comes down, comes all the way down the hill. This is actually quite a large head of pressure or a large head to have with this type of power plant. Now having a large to medium head is a characteristic of a pump storage power plant. What's unusual here is that the penstock is split into two and feeds two separate turbines. Remember you don't normally see that on power plants where you have a medium to large head. Normally one penstock will supply one turbine. Now I'm going to go and have a look at the turbines and generators from the outside because I did actually try and look earlier from inside and it's quite cramped. We can see that we've got a turbine runner which is housed within this casing and the water itself comes from the penstock. You can see it coming in here. It's fed to the turbine runner and then it's discharged and it will go out through the draft tube and into the river. We'll see if we can find the draft tube and this is it here and on the opposite side we also have another draft tube. So this is very similar in a way to some of the other hydro plants that we looked at. It's just that the head is much larger. If we've got a larger head then that means we can have either a Pelton type turbine or a Francis type turbine. We're not going to have a Kaplan type turbine because the head is simply too large. Pump storage power plants though only utilize a Francis type turbine. They do not use Pelton type turbines or Kaplan. And there's a very simple reason for this. Francis type turbines can be used to pump water back up the mountain. That means we can generate electricity when water flows down the mountain. And then we can pump the water back up again to the upper reservoir in order to refill the upper reservoir. But why would we do this? Why would we pump water back up and then let water back down again later? Well a pump storage hydropower plant is very similar to a battery except we're not storing chemical energy, we're actually storing the potential energy of the water at a higher elevation. Let's imagine for a moment that it's a very sunny, windy day. And that means that we're generating a lot of electricity from wind turbines and solar power. This also means that electricity is cheap, it's in abundance. So imagine we're paying one cent per kilowatt hour, just to keep things simple. Now it might be that the people operating this pump storage plant think that one cent per kilowatt hour is very cheap and they'll buy the electricity in order that they can power the Francis turbines and pump the water from the lower reservoir, in this case a river, up to the upper reservoir. And they'll do this all day because it's been sunny all day and there's also been a lot of wind so we've got a lot of cheap electricity. When the upper reservoir is full, and this may take 8 to 10 hours, maybe more, maybe less, we'll hold on to all of this stored potential energy. And what we'll do, we'll wait until it's dark, and all of a sudden, all of that abundant electrical supply that was provided by the sun from solar power, and maybe the wind dies down as well, all of that abundant electrical power will disappear. It will no longer be available in the national grid. If you like this video and would like to see more engineering related tutorials then check out some of the links in the video description area and if you click on these links you'll get a special discount price for all of our engineering video courses. If you want to support the channel then please do like this video or share it on social media, it really does help us out. You can also leave a comment in the comments section and if you've got any questions then please just ask and I will try to respond to you within 48 hours. Thanks very much for your time.